Being active and maintaining a balanced diet all contribute to leading a healthy lifestyle. However, what measures do some people take to reach their ideal body image? To gain some more insight into the issue of steroid use, I talked to Joel Savage, a former gym manager and current race director of Adventurethon Australia. I think a lot of people are looking for an easy way out, um, but unfortunately there is no easy way out. Uh, with, you know, with steroid use, uh, with, with drug use, um, you still need to have the building blocks to gain muscle or to get big or to you know, change your body or to tone up, whatever it is you're trying to do. If people just knew a little bit more about nutrition and focused on that and prioritised that and gave it some some attention and some focus and they get a lot further. So I believe a lot of people turn to these things because they actually don't know what their body is physically capable of without it. People are looking for that easy fix, that easy way out and I don't think it's you know just sort of pinpointed to one particular area, it's just something that's all around the country. Yeah. I've, um, I used to bodybuild a little while ago, natural bodybuilding and you know I've been around and seen physiques in you know, you know, a lot of states and yeah they're, they're big, bad and Everywhere. James Cook University students in Townsville were approached and asked their thoughts on steroid use. Sort of, I think I know a couple of people who do it, but I mean, no one's very open about it. It's kind of something that, you know, they don't really admit to if they do it. The amount of time that they kind of beef up in, like it's just too quick, a couple of months and they're huge. And they're not looking after themselves outside of that, you know, not sticking to diet and stuff like that. I guess some, for some people it's like it's a big thing, like I don't know, for some people they just love to go to the gym every day and that's like their life, they just love to get it as big and ripped as possible, but I don't know, it's not at all what I'd want to do. I don't think it's very healthy, yeah. it's just ridiculously muscly, like unnaturally yeah. muscly, that they can't walk properly. Like, like, just... I don't really know, I just don't really think it's necessary. I don't know, I think it's really vain. I'm from Ellie Beach and I know people that, that do. Um, and I'm from central Queensland where there's lots of mining towns and a lot of the fine fire miners do. John Stokes, the Director of Medical Services at the Marta Hospital in Townsville, offered some professional insight into the health effects of steroid They're use. They're very potent drugs and they affect the whole of the body, every system in the body. So it's not just a drug that enhances your muscle growth, but it's a, they're drugs that actually affect your glucose metabolism, the function of your heart, the function of your brain in terms of um, whether you get uh, abnormal delusions or thoughts, uh, affects uh, a large numbers of the endocrine system so that um, all these hormones are interactive and it certainly affects um, your uh, fertility and, uh, and it has long range effects that uh, come back to haunt you later in life uh, to do with the development of cancer. You can get myopathies from them, that is weakness of the heart and uh, in particular some of the newer steroids will cause that. Uh, and you can cause electrolyte problems within your body that actually have an effect on your heart rate and its control, its variability. So it can have multiple effects. Um, probably one of the most scary effects though is people that get uh, psychological effects from uh, steroids. And of course you've got to remember that some of these drugs are not the only drugs that people will take. They might be taking steroids and they might be using marijuana on the weekends. And the combination of steroids and marijuana probably would increase the risk of getting psychosis and paranoid delusions and anger and all sorts of psychological problems.